Imagine this, you're about to score the winning goal in FC26, but your controller suddenly stops working, disconnects, or isn't even detected at all. Frustrating, right? In this video, I'll show you every working fix for controller issues on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox. Stick around, because I'll also share a few pro tricks at the end that most players don't know about. 1. Verify controller connections. Whether you are using Steam or Game Pass, let's get started. Before making changes, ensure that your controller is properly connected. If you're using a wired controller, try a different USB port. If you're using a Bluetooth controller, go to Windows Settings Bluetooth and Devices check if your controller shows up. Make sure your controller appears in the connected devices list. If the controller is connected but unresponsive, simply restart your PC and reconnect the controller. Now let's move to the next step. Two, configure controller settings in Steam. If you're playing the game on Steam, make sure your controller settings are correctly applied. Open Steam. Go to the view option and select big picture mode. Navigate to settings controller settings. Here, enable the appropriate configuration for your controller. For Xbox controllers, turn on Xbox Configuration Support. For PlayStation controllers, enable PlayStation Configuration Support. For Switch Pro controllers, enable Steam Input for Switch Pro controllers. If Steam asks for additional Xbox extended features, install them, then restart Steam. Now save the settings and restart Steam to apply changes. 3. Disable Steam Input for the game. Some games have issues with Steam Input overriding native controller support. To fix this, Open your Steam library. Right-click the game. Select Properties. Go to the Controller tab. Under Override for the game, choose Disable Steam Input. This allows the game to use its own native controller support instead of Steam's. 4. Adjust controller bindings in Steam. If your controller buttons are mapped incorrectly or unresponsive, you may need to adjust the bindings. Open Steam and go to your library. Select the game. Click Manage Controller Layout. Here, you can remap your gamepad buttons or load community layouts that may already be optimized for the game. This is especially useful if you're using a DualShock or DualSense controller. 5. Restart Steam and relaunch the game. Sometimes a quick restart resolves controller issues. Close Steam completely. Unplug the controller and plug it back in. Restart Steam and then launch the game, making sure your controller is connected before starting the game. 6. Check Windows Gamepad Settings. If your controller still doesn't work, check the Windows Gamepad settings. Open Windows Settings, Bluetooth, and Devices. Look for your controller under the Connected Devices list. If it's missing, try pairing again using Bluetooth or connect it via USB. This ensures Windows itself recognizes the device before the game can use it. 7. Rebind Problematic Actions Some players find the default button layout makes accidental grabs more common. Rebind grab slash interaction to a separate button that you don't hit during combat. If wall jumps feel inconsistent, bind jump to a trigger or bumper instead of face buttons. This reduces input overlap during fast movement. 8. Adjust in game settings. You can adjust settings. Turn off vibration. It reduces input delay. Lower controller sensitivity makes movements more precise. Run the game at high priority. Task manager right click set priority high. This improves input response timing, especially for wall jumps. 9. Reinstall controller drivers. If the issue persists, reinstall your controller drivers. Right-click the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Expand Human Interface Devices. Find your controller right-click choose Uninstall Device. Restart your PC and Windows will automatically reinstall the drivers. 10. Check for Windows updates. Outdated system files can cause controller detection issues. Open Windows Settings. Go to Windows Update. Click Check for Updates, Install Everything Available, and Restart Your PC. 11. Try Third-Party Controller Software. If Steam and Windows Settings don't fix the problem, try Third-Party Controller Software. For PlayStation controllers, use DS4 Windows. For remapping issues, try ReWSD or similar tools to map buttons manually. This often resolves compatibility problems when the game doesn't detect your controller properly. 12. Enable Virtual Memory Boost Page File Press Windows plus R type SYSTM.CPL Enter Go to Advanced Tab Settings under Performance Go to Advanced Tab again click Change under Virtual Memory Uncheck Automatically Manage 
Select your C drive, choose custom size. Initial size, 4096. Maximum size, 8192. Apply and reboot. This helps your system recover from memory overflows caused by loading zones or online syncing. 13. Check Microsoft Visual C++ and DirectX. Download and install both x64 and x86 versions of the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables for the years 2015 through 2022. You can find the official download page on the Microsoft website. Also install the DirectX end user runtime by downloading it from the official Microsoft site. After installing these packages, restart your computer again and test the game. 14. Ensure Windows and Drivers are fully updated. Go to Settings, Windows Update and check for updates. Install any pending updates and restart your PC. And that's it. Those are the most effective ways to fix controller not working or disconnecting in EA Sports FC26, whether you're on PC, PS5, or Xbox. Test each fix step by step, and you'll be back on the pitch in no time. This video helped you fix your controller. Drop your setup in the comments so we can compare results. I'll also be covering more fixes for crashes, FPS boosts, and optimization settings, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next guide. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.